Bow it in two clefs. So everyone, let's bow and pull out. A T H up. Can you? And everyone, raise your right hand. And repeat after me and say, I promise to be a good person with knowledge in the mind, honesty in the heart, strength in the body to make good friends and to be a black belt leader. Okay, everyone, bow and check. Can you? And everyone, show me your bishop jack. Go. Keep going faster, 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 faster. Now, everyone, we're going to take it down a notch. Everyone, do your body twist. And let me close this window behind me real quick. Okay. Keep doing body twist. Body twist, body twist. Now, everyone, show me tiny, itty bitty arm circles. Tiny, tiny arm circles going forward. Ah, hey, or Ellie, a little bit smaller. A little bit smaller. Okay, and now go backwards. And make sure your arms are straight, okay? No wiggly arms. And keep going, guys. Good, there we go, Ellie. Now we're gonna do something. We're gonna do kind of a leg stretch. So, has anyone ridden a horse before? Has anyone ridden a horse before? Okay, Ellie has, Andrew has, <laughs> Luis and Santiago. Okay, so we're kind of pretend like we're getting on a horse. We're gonna have our leg go over and in, and then we're just gonna keep getting on the horse, okay? So in, and then you guys can do both legs. So you're gonna go in. Hopping on the horse, or maybe you guys want to go on a unicorn, whatever you want. And then you guys can get off the horse. So going out, off the horse. Okay, and this is kind of just stretching our legs a little bit. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Good job. And now everyone, I want you to go on your tummies and show me your age in push-ups. Can you guys show me that? Let me see your best push-ups, making sure that we're pushing our arms all the way out and then back to us, okay? So let me see it. Okay, and go whenever you guys are ready. Show me your best push-ups, your age. Let's see, who has, ooh, Gino, you have really good push-ups today, bud. Keep doing them so everyone else can see. Good job, and ooh, good job. Keep going, guys. Okay, once you're all done doing your age in push-ups, give me a big thumbs up so I know you're all done. Thumbs up. Okay, Aaron's done. Ellie's done. I think Miss Kira's done. Gino done. Luis done. Santiago's almost done. Good job, guys. Okay, and let's do our stretch kicks, everyone. Oh, let me readjust. Eep, eep, eep. I'm good. Okay. So everyone, step back and keep up. And we're gonna do some normal stretch kicks. So just count with me. One and two, three and four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Everyone, to Now, if we are doing our stretch kicks and I say a color, for example, hmm, if I say the color yellow, you guys have to go down and do a push up. Sound good? Give me a thumbs up if we understand. So, color equals push up. Normal number just means stretch kick, okay? So everyone, other leg, and let's go. And one, two, orange. Everyone go down push up. Down push up. Good job, and stand back up. Once you've done your one push up, okay? And let's keep going. Three, four, five, six, green. What do you guys do? When I say color, good job, Kira. I saw you do your push up first. So remember, push up. And we have three more guys. We're almost done. Okay, let's keep going. And seven, eight, nine. And last one, everyone. Ten. Good job. And everyone's saying like a walk up. Okay, guys. So we're going to do a couple of different kicks today. Some of you might already know them, but hopefully there's a challenge in one of them. So our first one, oh, first of all, let me see how we have our hands when we kick. Everyone, show me where your hand goes where we, when we do our kicks. Do they go wiggly arms like noodles? Do we have our hands up? Do we have them on our head? What one do we do, guys? We have them right here, close to our body, right? 
Okay, so our first move is gonna be our front kick. So I'm showing just how you pick up your leg, pick up your leg, and now we're gonna flap out our leg. Okay, so everyone just show me front kick. Good job. And let's try and see if you can get your front kick a little higher. So right now it might be right here. And let's try getting it all the way up here. Can you guys do it? Let's try it one more time. Everyone, one, two, three, and front kick. Good job. I'm gonna have everyone look at Miss Kira's front kick. Kira, can you show me your front kick one more time? Oh, good job. That was super awesome. Okay, let's do our jump front kick now. So some of you guys may not know what our jump front kick is, and I'm gonna teach you it right now. So I want everyone to pick up one leg. And now let's see if you guys can switch. Just hit your knee and see if you can switch to the other leg like this and switch. Can you guys do that? And more time, switch and switch and switch. And now when you guys wanna get a challenge, instead of switching just to your knee, you're gonna have one leg up and switch into a kick like that. And that's our jump front kick, okay? So again, you can just do switch with your knee, but eventually I wanna see you guys do knee, switch and kick, okay? Can anyone show me their jump front kick that they just learned? Does anyone wanna show the class? Anybody, anybody, anybody? Let's see, everyone show me that jump front kick one more time. So I can pick the best one. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I'm gonna have Gino show the class. So Gino, let me see your jump front kick one more time. So we're gonna have one knee up, then jump and switch. Good job, Gino, did you just go swimming? Did you just go swimming? You look like you just went swimming. Anyways, okay guys, so now, we did our front kick and we did jump front kick. Now we're gonna do our back leg round kick. So everyone turn your body. Turn, 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 turn. Not too far, okay? So don't turn all the way back there. So turn a little bit and then show me your back leg. Front kick, right at the nose. Okay, one more time. Let's turn our body and back leg round kick. Go. Just like that, good job guys. Okay, do we feel good about those three kicks? Do we feel good about it? <laughs> okay, I think we feel good. Some of us do. Okay, so the last one is gonna be a side kick, but it's gonna be a special side kick. So let's rewind. Let's pretend we just did our round kick. So everyone, turn your body, show me your round kick, and then leave that foot in front of you, okay? So you should have one foot closer to the camera. If you guys can see, one of my foot, the one that just did my round kick is right here, and the one behind me didn't do a round kick yet. But I want everyone to turn your body all the way. So you're looking back at me and then you're gonna pick up your leg that didn't do your round kick and psychic miss one right in the face. Okay, so again, if you wanna try that out. Oh no, no, no falling. Okay, if you guys wanna try that out one more time, let's pretend we just did our round kick. So we're gonna do our round kick, put it down and then we're gonna turn around all the way. Point right at Miss Swan and then do our side kick, our pushing side kick. Okay. How do we feel about that? Can everyone show me their reverse side kick that we just learned? So let's pretend we did our round kicks. So everyone follow me. Show me your round kick. Now put that leg in front of you. Look around all the way. Look all the way around. Point at Miss Swan. Point at her. Say, oh no, I see you. And then side kick Miss Swan. Side kick me. Good job. Okay. How do you guys feel if I ask you to do all those kicks together? Do we feel good? I'll say them, but do you guys think you can do them? Okay. Let's see if you guys can do it all together. Okay. So everyone, hands up. And everyone, show me front kick. Everyone, show me switch and jump front kick. Everyone, tap your back leg and show me round kick and put it in front of you. Turn around all the way, point at Miss Swan, point at Miss Swan, and side kick her in the face. Okay, I think you all have beautiful combinations, but is there anyone that wants to show the entire class all four kicks? Anyone, anyone, anyone? Hmm. I'm gonna have Luis, I want you to show the entire class. So, hands up. Show me your front kick. Front kick. Show me jump front kick, switch. Good job, show me round kick, swing. 
And then put that foot in front, turn around all the way. Point at Miss Swan. And side kick. Good job, everyone. Give Louise a big round of applause. Louise, give yourself a pat on the back. Pat on the back. Good job. Okay, guys, so that is all we are going to need. I was gonna have you practice with your families, but you guys look like you have pretty good kicks today. Okie dokie. So now it is time to do our form. So we're gonna do our form three different silly ways today. And the first one is gonna be one with Miss Swan's help. So I want everyone, let's get into a focus space. So everyone focus face, focus face. Focus face, we all have focus face, no silly face. No silly faces. I don't want to see any. Not for a little bit. Okay, so let's all bow in for our form without A T H F. Can you? And tune B for song number two with a loud song number two, ma'am. Okay, are you guys ready to start our form? Okay, everyone step back and show me your double ladder form block. Everyone, now put feet together and show me your front kick. Put it in front of you, aim right in the middle. Everyone, let me see your best aim. And what are we gonna do, everybody? We are going to punch, good job. So everyone punch, turn your body. So turn your body a little bit. And show me your ground kick with your back leg. And now everyone face the other wall. Cause now we're gonna do our next set of moves. So who knows what comes after our round kick? I know we make an X, but what move comes from the X? It is our twin low block. Ooh, Aaron knows our next move though. So the next move is our outer form block. So our single outer form block. Everyone show me that one. And everyone show me how we knock on the door. Who is it? Uh-oh, it's our punch. So everyone aim and punch. Good job. Now everyone take another step forward. So big step forward. And show me your other outer form block. Aim in the middle one more time. And punch. Now, usually this is when Miss Swan would run to the back of the room and then we would do our next moves facing towards the back, but we are not gonna do that today, so you guys can still see me. So everyone, aim with one hand, put your princess wave hand by the other. Who knows what move we are going to do? Our cha-cha-cha-chop. So everyone, chop the tree down, boop. And turn your body. And who knows what kick we're gonna do? Does anyone know? Let's see, ooh, you guys remember, good job. And show me your round kick. And put that leg down. And who knows what is the last and final move of this set of moves? Does anyone know? Anyone know? It's our first move in our form. Our double outer. Good job, Aaron, double outer form up. Everyone, last move. Good job. Okay, hands down. So now, you guys are going to have to use your eyes. So everyone can see me, right? Everyone can see Miss Swan, right? Okay, so you guys are only gonna be using your eyes, I will not be saying anything, so no noise. You guys have to copy everything I do, and I mean everything, okay? So everyone.
Okay, I think you guys did it. So everyone give yourself a big pat on the back. So you guys all actually did your form a lot better than how you guys usually do. And I'm very proud of you. You guys all looked very focused. Are you guys ready to do your form a little silly now? Maybe a little silly, a little silly. Okay, everybody. So time to go on our tummies. Everyone on our tummies. And we're gonna do our form on our tummies without a doggo. Okay, so everyone reach back and show me your double water form block. Or show the sky your double water form block. Hands up. Everyone show me front kick. Aim to the sky and punch. Everyone roll onto your tummy or roll onto the side and show me your round kick. Now roll back onto your back. Beep, beep, beep. Make an X with your hands and show me pillow block. Now everyone make your chamber for your single ladder form block and show me single ladder form block. Block the sky. Now aim to the sky and punch. Now let's do our other single ladder form blocks. Other single ladder form block. Aim to the sky and punch. Now let's take that punch. Pooh. Everyone show me your princess wave. Everyone wave to the ceiling. Say hi ceiling. And put ceiling by your ear or put your princess wave by your ear and chop. Now everyone turn to your side. Beep, 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 beep. And frown kick. And one last move. Reach back and the water form block. Okay, everyone stand up. And that is all the form we are going to do today. Did you guys like doing your form on the ground? It was a little silly. We liked it? Okay, maybe next time we'll do that. Okay, so we are now going to do our board break. So before we do that, we're gonna have to learn how to do our technique first. So we are gonna do our back fist today. So who remembers how we start our back fist? Does anyone remember? Anyone, anyone? If you remember, everyone show me how we start our back fist. Okay, it's a sandwich, right? And it's not a ham and cheese sandwich. It's our back fist sandwich. So everyone, I want you to wiggle the hand that's gonna do our back fist. Is it the top hand or the bottom hand? Ooh, good job, you guys know it. It's our top hand, so everyone wiggle top hand. Top hand, top hand, top hand. And look at your watch. It is time for back fist o'clock. So we're gonna rotate. We're gonna do this very slowly. So slow back fist. And boom. And now let's do one more time. Slow back fist. And boom. Okay, one more time. Let's do the other side. So now our other hand is on top. We're still looking at our watch. And slow back fist. Do, 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 do. And, and let's do that a little faster this time. Okay, so now that you guys know how to do it, I'm going to have your family give you guys a kind of tricky back fist um, board break today. You're going to need two family members today, okay? If you don't have two family members, that's okay. You'll just have to be super fast, and this is how it's going to work. So I'm going to have Miss Swan come into view. Is Miss, is mom here? Mom, mom, mom. Okay, so if you only have one family member, this is how it's going to go. I want everyone, first of all, let's prepare our paper, so we're a little on both sides. Prepare the paper a little bit on both sides. If you only have one family member, I'm going to explain this. So you guys are going to be doing two back fists today. So you're going to be doing one to this side, and then right after you're going to switch your hands and do it to the other side. So this is how it's going to look. If Miss Swan is tiny tiny, this is how her uh, board break is going to look. So as family, this is how I'm going to hold it. Okay, so we're going to do one back fist, and then we're going to switch. If you have a back fist, just like that. If you have two family members, this is a lot easier. But it's just a back-to-back -back, back fist, okay? So, if you guys want to see what a double family member one looks like, let's see, does anyone have two family members to help them? And go, Andrew. So that's one. And now, back fist and two. One more, one more. All the way through. Back fist, there we go. Or Aaron. Oh my goodness, I get the names mixed, uh, mixed up sometimes. Okay, so that is our board break for today. Everyone show me your paper once you are all done. So just two back fists back to back, making sure that our top hand is the one that's doing our back fist strike. So this is Miss Swan's crown of back fist board breaks. Back fist board break time. Anyone done yet? Anyone, anyone? So again, yep, I see. Luis, your family's doing my technique. Hold one. 
put it down, grab it, do the other one. Sorry, families, if this is a little tricky, but it's fun for the littles. So I like doing multiple board breaks. Okay, everybody, once you are all done with your board breaks today, I want you to give me a big thumbs up. Big thumbs up once you're all done. Okay, Gino is all done. Erin is all done. Ellie looks like she's all done. Louise, Cara, Kira. Kira is all done. Santiago, I can't tell if you're done yet, buddy. Okie dokie. Okay, and then what do we do with the paper, everyone? Say it with me. Recycle. Okay, just making sure you guys know to recycle paper. Okay, okay. So we are gonna get onto our bong mong e. So everyone, go grab your stick, bong mong e, or whatever you guys like to use. If I can even find my bong mong e. Hmm. Interesting. 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 <laughs> so until Miss Swan can find her bong mong e, we are gonna be using a Hello Kitty ruler. So everyone, show me how we go side to side. Side to side, keeping our hand by our face to make sure we are safe. And then up and down to the side. So up and down, this is just gonna prepare us for our circles. And then broken helicopter. Protecting our noggin. Okay, guys, so we are going to be working on our circles today because I know some of us have some trouble doing our circles. So if you guys want a visual, here is a circle. And I want you guys to outline it with your bong mong knee. So you can start doing a big circle with your entire arm and then start tracing it a little bit more. And then you're slowly, ooh, Miss Swan found me a sword. Okay, so Miss Swan's gonna also hold this yellow ring for me real quick, so I can show you what I mean. So she's gonna hold it and see how at first I'm gonna have a big circle, but then I'm gonna slowly only use my arm, and then I'm only gonna use my wrist. And you guys can go forward and backwards. So try outlining the circle. Okie dokie. Try outlining a circle. Oh, I see the yims have a hulu. Interesting. <laughs> Keep going, guys. And if you guys want a super duper challenge and you have mastered your circles, you guys can try it on your other hand. So this might be a little harder. So remember, we start off with a big, big, big circle. And then we do tinier circle. And then we do very small circle. And then we don't also go forwards, we also go backwards. Okay, everybody. So are we ready for our one through nine strikes? I think we are. So everyone step back and keep fire. Fire. So let's do our nine strikes thermal speed and everyone count with me. One. One ma'am. And two. Two ma'am. Across our tum tums. Three. Three ma'am. And other side four. Four ma'am. Up five. Five ma'am. Other side six. Six ma'am. Everyone seven up. Seven up. Eight down. Eight down. And let's see who can poke Miss Swan in the nose the best. And nine poke Kip. Good job. Don't actually touch your family's to electronics. I don't want anyone getting in trouble. Okay. Now we're going to do our nine strikes slowly. So because we're doing them slowly and we have more time, I want you guys to have the straightest bong -y strike lines. So very straight, like a ruler. Everyone see this ruler in front of me? Has to be as straight as that. It's pretty straight to me. So everyone, let's do that together. And let's do one. And two. Cross our tummy, three. Other side of our tummy, four. Good job, you guys are all doing this very slow. Five, going up, and six, going up and all the way. And now straight seven up, and eight down. And then slowest nine poke ever, nine poke with a loud kip, kip, and bink, right in the nose. Okay, guys, 
Do you guys want to do R9 strikes fast? But remember, just because they're fast doesn't mean they have to look like they're going to look like that, right? We are still going to do our nine strikes like we've been taught. Very nice and precise. Okay? So, on the count of three, we are going to do this all together. So, ready, set, and as you go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, Okay, let's do that one more time. So let's see who can be fast and precise at the same time. Miss Swan is going to watch. Miss Swan, Miss Swan, Miss Swan. I want you to watch which tiny tiger has the most precise and fastest strikes out of all of them. Are you ready? Okay, so I count three. One, two, three, and go. And Miss Swan picked Ellie. So Ellie, give me a virtual high five. High five, high five, high five. Good job, ma'am. Okay, so I wanted to introduce you guys to your blocks today with the last couple minutes of class. So Miss Wong can get the other sword. So normally we'd have you guys practice this with us in class, but in order to do our blocks for our bong mong yi, we want to have our um, weapon supported because I want to show you guys a little something. If Miss Swan tries hitting me with her bong mong yi and I do not use my hand to reinforce it, I am going to get bumped in the nose or the mouth or wherever she is striking to. So everyone show me how we support our bong mong yi by holding the back of our weapon, okay? So we don't want to hold it in front because then we're going to get our fingers whacked and we don't want that to happen. So everyone hold the back. Good job. Now, I, Miss Swan, I am going to do my one strike at you and I want you guys to walk it. Can you guys do that? And you're going to just block wherever I do it, making sure that, you know, it's not a straight line. Because if I do a straight line, this one, this one, this one, if I just do a straight line, or if, like, she's doing her nine strike and I do a straight line, I'm going to get poked right in the tum-tum, okay? So, I'm going to do my one strike, and everyone show me how you block. So, and everyone show me how you block. Oh, I don't see all of us blocking. Okay, again, we want to make sure that our weapon is also upright like this. So don't have our weapon upside down. So upright, everyone hold it. And I'm going to do that one strike one more time. So everyone block one. And now I'm going to do the other side. And now everyone block two. Can you guys do that? Good, one more time. So I see a lot of us blocking to each side. And that is exactly what I want you to do. So one more time, everyone block one. Block my one strike. And now block two. Block my two strike. Good job. I want everyone to look at Mr. Luis's blocks. So Luis, I'm going to say what strike I'm doing, or I don't, can you see me still? Can you see Miss Swan still? Okay, so I'm going to do my strike and I want you to show everyone your block. Oh, you can't? Okay, let's see if you can do, do you remember me doing my one strike? Everyone, can you remember blocking one strike? Okay, so I'm going to actually bring it back because you cannot see me. I thought that was gonna work, but it's okay. So again, you had really good um, blocks, by the way, Luis. That's why I highlighted you. So we just wanna make sure that we're blocking to each side with our hand behind that. Can everyone show me block to this side? Block to this side. Good job. And now block to the other side. Good job. One more time, this side. And other side. And now we're gonna learn how to do our three and four. So they're kind of the same, but instead we wanna go a little lower. So it's not gonna be up high, where it's gonna be kind of towards our tummy. So everyone show me a block over here in our tummy area. And now show me a block over here in our other tummy area. Good job. Now I'm gonna do my one through four strikes very slowly like we did earlier. And I want you guys to block all of them. So everyone block one. Block to this side. Now block to this side. Now block around your tummy area as I do my three strike. And now block to the other tummy area as I do my four strike. Good job, everyone. Give yourself a big round of applause because you guys not only learned some of your blocks, but you also are all done with class, okay? So I want everyone, we're gonna bow out loud, A2, so everyone bow out. Chuck, can you hey, raise your right hand and repeat after me and say, I promise, I promise to, be a good to be a good person with knowledge in the mind, knowledge in the mind honesty, in the heart, honesty in the heart, strength in the body, strength in the body to make good friends, to make good friends, to be a black belt leader. Be a black belt leader. About Chuck, can you? Okay, everybody. So if you guys already know 
um, what you want to do. If you're going back to in-person class, then you guys can exit out. Hope you guys have a good day. But if your family does not know what you have to do in order to attend in-person class, then I want you guys to stay for a little. So get your family around if you do plan on going to in-person class. So families, you are going to need to register for each in-person class you do. This week from Wednesday to I believe it is only Sunday, so Wednesday through Sunday, is going to be orientation classes. And I say that with quote unquote because we're just going to be teaching um, safety procedures of what the Tiny Tigers and their family needs to be doing in order to attend class safely and maintaining um, everyone's health to where everyone stays healthy. And if you are a tiny tiger, you're going to have to have your family with you during class, okay? So I know some of you have older siblings, like Aaron has Andrew and Carlin has Kaylin. And for them, they do not need to have a family. But for you guys, you guys need to have a family member with you at all times. Does everyone, blah, 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 blah. Does everyone understand that? Everyone understands? So this week, we're going to be going over how to be safe and clean at the school. And then starting on June 29th, you guys will be able to register your classes two days a week, okay? So we will still have online classes for you guys who still wanna attend online. And otherwise, that is all I have to say. So great job in class today, everyone. Hope you have a good day, bye. Bye, Andrew and Aaron, bye, Finn and Kira and Luis and Kaylin and Carolyn and Santiago. Bye, guys.